I am Zhuyuan Zhong, a professor and the chair of Suzhou University Biomedical Polymers Laboratory in Suzhou of China. Here I am going to talk about a very special carrier system called polymersomes or polymer vesicles. Polymersomes are very similar to liposomes. They have a watery core that is separated from the outside aqueous environment by a thin membrane. Polymersomes are self-assembled from macromolecular amphiphiles that are composed of a water-insoluble block and a water-soluble block. As compared to liposomes, polymersomes usually have thicker membranes in the range of 5 to 30 nanometers, better colloidal stability, enhanced mechanical strength, and reduced chemical permeability. Polymersomes have a number of interesting applications. For example, nano-sized polymersomes offer a highly versatile platform for controlled drug delivery. Unlike most other nanovehicles, polymersomes can be used for the encapsulation and the release of both water-insoluble as well as water-soluble entities ranging from anti-cancer drugs, proteins, peptides, nucleic acids to quantum dots. Giant polymersomes that have a size of tens of micrometers, on the other hand, provide an excellent model for mimicking life cells. In our laboratory, we are focusing on the development of stimuli-responsive polymersomes that swell or collapse in response to an external or internal stimulus for programmed drug or plotting delivery. For example, we have developed pH-sensitive degradable polymersomes that are prone to endothermal acidic conditions for efficient co-delivery of hydrophilic and hydrophobic anti-cancer drugs. We have also developed temperature and reduction sensitive polymersomes for efficient encapsulation and intracellular delivery of proteins. We have prepared novel biodegradable chimeric polymersomes based on asymmetric ABC triplock copolymers by film rehydration method. These chimeric polymersomes could efficiently deliver and release proteins into cancer cells. Currently, we are trying to develop various mimicking multifunctional polymersomes that have a high drug loading level, a prolonged circulation time, selective accumulation in the tumor sites, efficient cellular uptake, and active intracellular drug release. These polymersomes will be studied for combination cancer therapy, for example, combination of a hydrophobic drug with a hydrophilic drug, or combination of chemotherapy with gene therapy. In a similar way, polymersomes are also interesting for cell analysis, that is, combination of therapy and diagnosis. We are convinced that polymersomes will play a more and more important role in the development of novel efficient treatments for various types of diseases. Without doubt, polymersomal drugs will soon become a reality.